Hello fellow creatives, it's Jenny Lynn, your host on our rental townhome makeover series. And today we're diving into a room that's more than just a workspace, it's my sanctuary of productivity. This room is filled with potential. What used to be an extra bedroom had become a valuable space for a home office, drenched in daylight through glass doors and windows. Yet those bland builders white walls needed a creative touch. With rentals, we know permanent changes aren't an option. I'm gonna share with you how I laid out this home office space, added a splash of color with a custom blend, and added life with some simple home decor and DIY items that you can do all on a renter-friendly budget. Follow along as I create a home office oasis. I really do like the space. Okay. Lots of natural light, it faces east so I get that beautiful sunrise in the morning. I come down with my tea. And what I like about it is it's odd sort of shape. It's kind of like an yeah, L-shaped room. It is an L-shape, yeah. Absolutely. Which means that we can kind of have some fun with it and do some different things. Yep. And uh, I love working in a pretty workspace. So when it comes to the colors and lighting, this is gonna be, I think, my favorite project <laughs> of the entire house is making my office look pretty. <laughs> well, you can make it more of an expression of yourself, right? Because as opposed to family spaces, which maybe have to be a bit more neutral, this is all about you. So Absolutely. we get to, you know, use your brand, use your colors, and whatever makes you happy and inspired in this space so yeah let's do it I love it and for me that's a lot of pink pink on pink on pink we're gonna have Absolutely. a lot of fun with that I'm sort of thinking this is a really nice area just over here to sit your desk so a beautiful executive desk by any chance do you ever stand at your desk or do you prefer to sit that's a great question I actually have been standing at my desk for almost 10 years now oh so why yeah. don't we give you a proper stand-up desk something that's motorized. I love that idea. The other thing I like about having the desk over here is that you've got this beautiful wall with some shelving and some cabinetry, and it might be a lovely backdrop when you do Zoom videos, because I know nowadays we're all doing Zoom videos much more than ever. Especially for me and my business, being on camera so much, yeah. having a dedicated space that is kind of always just set right. to look beautiful, but then I could have maybe another alternative space to work in yes. that I could sort of like have more mess around. Sure. So let's talk about this area. Something what a little bit more here? private. This is something mm -hmm. that your space is maybe not on film all the time mm -hmm. for the videotaping. So this area, we could do a small round table, which is always such a nice inclusive mm -hmm. type of desk to work on with a few stools or chairs around it. The other thing I was thinking is, what about this wall? Could we use this as a giant mood board? What if we did the whole wall in cork? That would be really cool. You can pin up, you know, inspiration for, for colors, new ideas for new product lines, mm. all these kinds of things, which is your personal space, but you can just use it as a giant mood board. So whatever I you like want, that. whatever strikes your fancy, you could just pin it up there. It's That's like a great. old school Pinterest board for you. <laughs> You mentioned lighting before. We've got some really great recessed pot lights here. Right. But I think there's something more that we could really add to the space. We've got this sort of chandelier thing here. What do you think about it? This light has got to go. <laughs> I, think, I think the 90s called and they want their light back. <laughs> but it's just got to go. So I think we need to put something in a little bit more dramatic, something beautiful, something again in those natural tones, maybe wooden type of light oh, I like or jute that we could have here that's going to really warm up the space and make it beautiful. That just doesn't work for me. I'm sorry. I love that. <laughs> what if we take that sort of that jute idea and, and that and bring in with some other textures like like these floors, right? They're very nice floors, but it's nice to have something like natural on the yes. feet too. As yeah, well. exactly. Mm -hmm. So I thought, what about some jute colors? But like yeah, black. just something with a bit of pattern to it. Mm -hmm. But you've got those beautiful sort of neutral tones and the jute. I think that could work really well in here, especially with the pink. I think we're going to need a rug here with the round table and stools and a rug by your desk as well. So I think we're going to need two. I think we should make them the same rug though. Okay. Well, I'm really excited to uh, decor up this office. Oh, me too. And it's going to be a beautiful space. My goal is to keep this place really light, bright and airy. I wanted an inspiring place to work from home. As you know, we're working from home a lot more these days. So for me, it was important to have a very multifunctional space, a place where I could have my Zoom meetings and have multiple different types of meetings and potentially even have clients here at this table. So I decided to put in two desks in the office, one where I could do my Zoom meetings and the other one that would be perfect for my other meetings. 
I thought it'd be really cool to add a cork wall. This is a really simple, easy DIY that anyone can do. Just using a little bit of double-sided tape and applying these to the wall. This is now a pin board for me. It's an inspiration board. Really great to stay organized as well and keep my lists of things to do. I really wanted this office to have a nice, cozy, but inspiring feel. So for me, I'm in love with the color pink. So of course I had to have a pink feature wall. Instead of painting the whole space, I just did one wall to not overwhelm everything. And this wall behind me, I did a custom blend using our damask mixed with cashmere, just a one-to-one -one ratio to get a really soft, but sophisticated pink. I also decided to paint the doors and I was able to match the pink of this wall to the doors, really tying the whole space together. For the rest of the space, I kept it a really beautiful off-white. I mixed our Victorian lace with casement, a one-to-one -one ratio for just a really nice, soft, subtle blend with a hint of gray. The previous wall color had a lot of yellow undertones, so I wanted to get rid of that yellow. So I brightened it up and I love the lighting that we chose here. It's simple yet sophisticated. It's made of wood, so it looks absolutely beautiful with our white oak desks and other wood and natural elements in the space. The paint budget for this space was only $100, so I was able to completely lighten and brighten it up, create a beautiful feature wall, and now I have an incredibly inspiring and unique home office space. I hope that you've liked this office makeover. Drop a comment and let me know what's your favorite part of this particular makeover. And be sure to subscribe to be able to see more room makeovers of this townhouse.